update to breaking news of a tanker truck crash in Johnston County. One person died when the tanker wrecked around 10 o'clock this morning in a church parking lot located just south of Clayton on Cleveland Road near Dickinson Road. The crash also led to a hazmat situation. Our Justin Quisenberry is live at scene with the latest. Justin. Crews remain here this evening. You can see the tanker is still out here as well. Right now, what they're doing is unloading the fuel from that tanker. The fire chief says it carried a gas and diesel mixture. The highway patrol is still investigating the crash, which killed the driver. Troopers released his name within the past hour as Joseph Diascoli of Broadway. The charred cab of this tanker truck showed the devastating impact of fire as crews used foam to fight the flames. It was a little bit harder to put out than a normal straight fire. There was a medical emergency right across the street from where this happened at, so uh, fire personnel got here fairly quickly. And I saw the smoke. Mark Norman's wife took these photos of the fire from their house nearby. It, was, it looked like the whole cab was totally engulfed. The highway patrol says the tanker ran out of the road, hit this culvert, then flipped and burst into flames. So I went running up to the truck trying to get to the truck to see if there was something I could do to help the guy get out of it since it was on fire. And my neighbor who I saw running earlier turned around and told me to get back. He goes, it's a tanker, get back. It's in. And then the flames just got bigger and bigger. And so there was nothing any, any of us could do except for just watch. A helpless feeling in a dangerous situation. If you can help someone save their life, that's what you want to do. And unfortunately, we couldn't get close enough to it. So it was just a sad moment. The Highway Patrol says the tanker's driver was the only person involved in this Here's one vehicle and crash. Diascoli was 38 years old and worked for Gaines Oil Company. I called the company today and they said they are just focused on helping their employees' family right now. This cleanup is expected to continue for several more hours. The DOT says this road could open around 8.30 tonight. Live in Johnston County, Justin Quisenberry, CBS North Carolina.